It's Monday, February 19th, 2018. And welcome to Van Ren 10 on sports. So what we're going to talk about today is the Denver Broncos quarterbacking situation. Uh, it's a big topic here in Colorado. People want to know who the Broncos are going to end up with next year's quarterback. Keep hearing horrible things like we're going to end up with Kirk Cousins or we're going to end up with Sam Bradford or we're going to end up with, you know, we're, we're going to go with Paxton Lynch for another year. Just terrible, terrible things. So basically, the, the rumors, this is what I would like to see. Now, we have the fifth pick in the draft. And they're talking the Broncos can get one of the top four quarterbacks. Top four quarterbacks are Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, uh, or not Josh Rosen, Josh Allen Rosen. I'm just going to say Rosen. I can't remember his first name. And uh, um, uh, now I'm drawing a blank on the fourth one. Oh, Baker Mayfield out of Oklahoma. So those are basically the top four quarterbacks in the draft. You got the kid out of Louisville and the kid out of Oklahoma State that are kind of wild cards in this. They'll probably, they might be first round picks, but they'll be a little bit uh, later in the first round. Um, and then, of course, all the free agents. You have A.J. McCarron, who's, be, uh, who's coming on, onto the free agent market, Kirk Cousins, unless Washington decides to franchise him again so that they can trade him. Um, I, I think uh, you have uh, the guy out of uh, Minnesota who I'm drawing a blank on right now. I cannot remember his name. Um, so, uh, Case Keenum. So, there's, there's kind of this whole thing of what should the Broncos do? Well, here's the thing. I don't want Kirk Cousins. Not for $30 million a season. Not for $25 million a season. Not for $20 million a season. To me, Kirk Cousins is not worth $20 million a year. He's definitely not worth over $20 million a year. Because for the Broncos to sign a quarterback for that kind of money, they're going to have to get rid of players. So now you have to get rid of Demarius Thomas. You have to get rid of Emmanuel Sanders. You have to get rid of C.J. Anderson. Okay, so Kirk Cousins was a pretty good quarterback and the complaint was he had no weapons in Washington to throw to or to use and now you're going to bring him to Denver after getting rid of Demarius Thomas after getting rid of Emmanuel Sanders after getting rid of CJ Anderson he's going to be in the same situation he's going to come into Denver with no weapons because we won't be able to afford to keep those guys because we're paying Kirk Cousins too much money so I do not want Kirk Cousins. He's going to cost too much. If Kirk Cousins was a 15 to $20 million quarterback, I'd probably be okay. Under $20 million, 15 to $19 million, somewhere in there, I feel like that's the sweet spot where he should be. He is not a $30 million quarterback. He's just not. And I do not want to pay for the next five years $30 million a year to that quarterback. He's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Tom Brady. He's not Ben Roethlisberger. He's Kirk Cousins. He's Joe Flacco. He's an okay quarterback, but he's not worth that money. So people say, well, it can make the Broncos uh, instant contenders with the defense they have. No, because you have to lose a lot of pieces to bring him in. The young wide receivers that we have are not very good. They're just not Benny Fowler, Latimer, uh, the tight ends that we have. If you're talking Virgil Green, uh, you know, a uh, Hireman. Maybe if Jake Butt comes back, you know, because he was basically redshirted last year, the tight end that we got out of Michigan. There, you know, and then running backs, you want to concentrate on Melvin Booker. He, if if Melvin Booker is really the better running back, why didn't you have him running instead of C.J. Anderson? So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of 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 these questions. It's like, but you're gonna have to lose a lot of talent so that you can afford to put Kirk Cousins under your salary cap. That's not a good prospect, because then you put Kirk Cousins in the same situation he was in in Washington, where he's an 8-8 eight and eight quarterback, 9-7, and 7-9, seven, seven whatever the case may be. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't a quarterback that was leading you to 12 wins a season with no talent around him. So I don't want Kirk Cousins here. Just because he's going to cost too much money, 
and it's going to make us so that we have to lose players. And we might have to lose players on defense, too. People say we might have to lose Aqib Tlaib. I'm kind of okay with losing Aqib Tlaib um, and bringing, you know, just use Bradley Roby. And you've got some other good young corners on this team that you could put in this, uh, you know, put out there as your, your nickel corner. But if you have, uh, you know, if you have Chris Harris Jr. and Bradley Roby, no, Roby's not as good as Tlaib, but Tlaib is like 31 years old or 20, 29 or 30 years, somewhere, 29 to 31, somewhere in there. He's starting to get a little bit up there for defensive backs because defensive backs have to be quick and they have to be fast. And you start to lose a little bit of that going against younger, quicker wide receivers. So I'm okay with Roby and Harris and you can lose to Lieb, but you can't lose all those players on offense. You can lose one of those two receivers and I'd really like to see us lose to Marius Thomas because I don't think he plays with enough passion. Ton of talent doesn't play with enough passion. Some of those, where if you lock him up and push him around, you can easily do it. He's he's too big and too good to be pushed around like he gets pushed around on the field. Not enough intensity. And you can't teach intensity. If you don't have it, you'll probably never have it. Uh, it's, he's just more of a laid-back guy, which is okay, but not when you're paying him $14 million a year to be your number one wide receiver. So, and last year he only had five touchdown catches, but that's part of the problem with having no quarterback. I mean, going through Lynch, Osweiler, and Simeon last year, once again, those guys are not the answer either. So, I don't really want Case Keenum here because Case Keenum, he's been in other places. He played pretty good for Minnesota, he really did, but how much is Case Keenum going to cost us? I don't want this to become another Matt Flynn or you know uh you know somebody like that who has a few good games and you sign him to a bunch of money and then he turns out to be you know a bust you know he he takes a ton like a Cassell or somebody like that you pay him a lot of money and they don't really do anything so I don't want that um Sam Bradford I don't want Sam Bradford Sam Bradford's injury prone do not want Sam Bradford the guy can't stay healthy for more than 15 minutes, so no on Sam Bradford. If he can stay healthy, he's a good quarterback, but he has not stayed healthy. And the Broncos' offensive line shows a real lack of being able to protect the quarterback. So uh, if we can't protect the guy who gets injured all the time, he's probably going to get injured again. Uh, so that leads us to A.J. McCarron. Now, A.J. McCarron's kind of a wild card here. I've seen him play a little bit. He looks pretty good. But he's been behind Dalton for years in Cincinnati. If you can pick him up for somewhere in the twelve to fifteen million dollars a season range, you you know sign him for three years, twelve to fifteen million. If you can get him to do that, there's no guarantee. You know, that's what I want to do. But most quarterbacks, when they're doing free agents, they want four or five year contracts. So, I don't think you can get AJ McCarron for anything less than four years, but. If you can get him in twelve to twelve to fifteen million somewhere in there, that might be okay. Preferably closer to the twelve million because we still don't know how good he is. Um, I'd be okay with that, and then taking that number five draft pick and maybe trying to get that running back out of Penn State or picking up an offensive lineman if there's any that are worthy of the five pick, or picking up a really good defensive lineman, uh, which could also help the Broncos. So then. That leaves us with the young quarterbacks, Rosen, Darnold, Allen, Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield has a little bit too much party guy in him. Will he be able to hold it together? Rosen, they're saying maybe too much of the rich kid thing where his heart might not stay in it. He might not have enough intensity to be an NFL quarterback and play through all the hard stuff. Darnold, I guess, has a fumbling problem. He fumbles the ball a little bit too much. And Josh Allen never played against big competition. So all of them have a little bit of a weak point. But most people have always kind of said Darnold Rosen, Darnold Rosen. But now Josh Allen keeps kind of, you know, Allen kind of keeps moving his way up the draft board even higher. Out of all those quarterbacks, I'm leaning more towards Allen than any of them for the Broncos because I do think Rosen and Darnold probably go 1-2 in the draft. 
I think Cleveland will probably, unless Cleveland can sign Kirk Cousins, then of course they'll have no need for him. Um, but if everything holds pat and Cleveland doesn't sign a big name free agent quarterback, um, then I really think that they'll either take, they'll probably take Sam Darnold. Uh, there's even a little bit of talk this they would even take uh, Allen. Um, I think they're going to avoid Rosen because Rosen has already expressed interest about not wanting to play in Cleveland. And Darnold, and uh, right now all these quarterbacks seem to be very close together. Um, we'll, we'll know probably a little bit more after the um, Combine. Baker Mayfield says he's going to take part in everything. I mean, which is, uh, you know, I like seeing that in those kids. They want to, you know, he wants to, he's got a lot of confidence in himself and he goes, I'll prove it to you that I should be the number one pick. So I kind of like the, the, the moxie of, of, of Baker Mayfield because the guy just has a ton of confidence and you, you can't coach confidence either. People that have confidence in themselves can sometimes do things that those of us that don't have that kind of supreme confidence can't do because they just believe that they can do it. And if you tell them they can't, they'll prove you wrong by keep trying until they do do it. So I'm even okay with Baker Mayfield. I don't want Rosen or Donald. I really don't. I'm not really looking at those two. Give me Baker Mayfield. I'll be excited because he's an excitable player. Give me Josh Allen only because there's a big, I don't know, factor with him, but he seems to have all the tools. But they said that about Paxton Lynch, too. He's got all the tools. And he wasn't very good for us. Of course, you know, if this was the 70s, we would give Paxton Lynch three or four years to to get it together but in this NFL age you pretty much got to nail it within your first couple years and if you can't if you look lost then they're not going to give you too much of a chance so really what I think the Broncos should do uh, is just save your money in the free agent market and spend it on offensive linemen spend it on defensive linemen draft your young quarterback Replace some of the pieces you're going to miss on defense to keep a stout defense because you still got Von Miller, who is a very good, and you still got the no-fly zone back there. So you still got some real talented players on that defensive side of the football. So just bring in a young quarterback, keep some of your talent on offense so he has somebody to throw the ball to. Build your offensive line to protect the young quarterback. Build your defensive line to get the other team's quarterback off the field. And concentrate on just getting a young guy. I know they tried to do that last year with Paxton Lynch. They made a mistake. Plain and simple. Maybe if he gets a couple more years, he gets it, but I doubt it. So put in, you know, sign Allen, you know, draft Allen, draft Mayfield. Stay away from the free agents. Too many questions on all of them. Kirk Cousins, too expensive. A.J. McCarron, we just don't know. Case Keenum, he's a nice quarterback, and he might. I'd like to see another year that he had in Minnesota before I sign him to any kind of real money. Um, Sam Bradford, no. Just going to get hurt in Denver. He'll get hurt anywhere he plays, but no. Just stay away from him. Uh, any other free agent quarterbacks that are out there right now, I'm, the reason I'm not thinking of them is because I don't think they're worth it. So... Those are the ones that are kind of the most mentioned for for Colorado, for the Denver Broncos. Those are the ones that are getting mentioned in a lot of the local stuff. So it's up to me. I have the number five pick in the NFL draft. And if, if Josh Allen is there, and I'll even say this, my gut is telling me, take Baker Mayfield. That's what my gut is saying right this second. It's like, no, 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 you're going to say Josh. Don't say Allen. Say Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. My gut was right on the Super Bowl. My gut was right when I said three touchdown passes for uh, Nick Foles in the NFC Championship game. I'm going to go with my gut here. Baker Mayfield. That should be the future Denver Broncos quarterback. Baker Mayfield. That's my pick. That's right. And if I'm John Elway, which I, uh, I live in a little apartment, so I'm not, and I can't play football very well, so I'm not John Elway. But if I'm John Elway, or if I could get into, get into his office and say, look, John... Baker Mayfield, my gut says it. And he'll just say, security, get this guy out of my office. And with all that being said, to the troops, past, present, and future, thanks for the freedom.